how you doing? Ty Sullivan here, Director of Marketing and Social Media for a restaurant group in New York City called ST Management Group that has 27 restaurants under its belt. And I'm here today to talk to you about how to integrate and use social media and get the benefits of social media for your local to mid-sized businesses. Now I'm not talking about Coca-Cola, Best Buy, I'm not talking about the Trump Organization. I'm here talking about just a local store. If you got one location, if you got five, doesn't matter the kind of business, you need to be integrating social media into your business plan. I'm going to tell you a few little things as to why I think that you should be doing that. Now, first of all, let me get up. Hey, how you doing, Ty? I just want to see if we can respond to a video. Anyway, whatever. Um, one of the perks of social media that works for us is we got to get on the Celebrity Apprentice TV show because of our, our outreach on social media. They saw that we were so active on social media, they said, oh, they're gonna help us push our show a little bit once we get them on the air. So, take a look at some of the perks of that little thing. Little thing, Celebrity Apprentice. Shake that. I know, just about now you'd probably like my autograph because of all my celebrity involvement, but that's not going to happen because you're in Campbell River and I'm in New York City. Anyway, let me tell you another little story about the power of social media. I was speaking at a conference on social media and customer service relations in Dallas, Texas, and I posed a question to the audience. I said, how many of you are following the Cafe Metro brand on social media, particularly Twitter? Almost half of the audience raised their hand, and I posed this question to them. I said, why are you following? And they said, because we ever visit New York City, we want to know where to go to eat. We want to know what you're doing. And besides, they knew me too. But that was not the only reason. They are constant visitors to a certain city. All right, now I follow almost all of your businesses on Campbell River just because I feel like I'm a part of the Campbell River family. Because if I ever visit Campbell River, guess where I'm going first? One of your businesses were on social media before I go to your competitors. Here's the bottom line. Social media for businesses is real and it's measurable at every stage of the sales pyramid. Let's start with awareness, okay? Facebook posts, tweets, retweets, clicks, YouTube connections, everything that has to do with social media equals awareness. Why? It's Googleable. It's a Google world, man. We are all about Google. I can Google anything. I can Google your guys. Well, no, I'm not going to get creepy there and tell you all about your shoe sizes and things like that. But you get the idea. Everything is Googleable. Everything is Google AdWordsable. I suggest use Google AdWords for your business. It increases the amount of exposure that you're going to get, and you can keep track of all the stats and who's watching. Now, I also want to talk about the awareness factor. Okay, an example. In 2012, Skittles Facebook had 320,000 visitors compared to their website, which only had 23,000. That's huge. 66% 60 of brand mentions are all positive, and only about 8% are negative. All the rest, kind of neutral, or check-ins, or just passing information along. Now, another thing you gotta to start to think about for your business is video. Video is a very important component to what's happening in your businesses. It shows people your product, it shows people your establishment, it shows people you, your authentic you, and we're gonna get back to that in a little bit. But let me tell you something, a small blender company put out a video that cost them $50 to make they saw a 650% increase in visitors to their little blendertech.com and a 500% sales increase. $50 video, maybe two hours to make, local talent. You get the picture? When it comes to customer service and speaking about customer service at seminars, panels, and conferences, I'm very serious. Help, I need somebody. Help, not just anybody. Help, you know I need someone. Help. Clearly, as you can see, it's true. But let me tell you something. Customer service can translate into social media. How? Total transparency. At our company, 
we open up our channels. We encourage people to utilize Yelp, to utilize Twitter, to utilize Facebook, to tell us what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong, because we can only get better when we know when something is amiss. Yeah. Social media opens up the channels to answer questions by customers, which drives your ROI by reducing the cost of answering those questions. Now, some companies have actually reduced their customer service staff by two thirds while increasing customer satisfaction by 10%. Okay, so we're starting to see the big picture here, right? How the pyramid is building. We've dealt with awareness. We've dealt with intention. We've been dealt with consideration. We've dealt with customer service. We've dealt with YouTube and video. Now, let's talk about loyalty for a second. 34% are more loyal to companies that utilize Facebook. 46% are more loyal to companies that they're following on Twitter. Wow, that's big, isn't it? Let's talk about fans and fanatics. I'm a fan of the Toledo Mud Hens. I follow them on Twitter. I check them out on Facebook. What do they do? Not much, actually. Why would I want to follow them? So, here's what I encourage you to do. Become a fan of your fans. Become a fan of your fans because they're going to become the brand ambassadors for you. And consumer actions cause market reactions. Okay, one of the other big components of being involved in social media through your business is social good. You gotta find your cause and you gotta be a champion for them. Why? People love to see that. And by getting involved, you're also making a difference in the world around you. Find someone to be successful for. One of the things that we did through our company is we got involved with Share Our Strength, which is out to, change, to, out to stop childhood hunger in America by 2015. By getting involved in tweetathons, we're also getting our name out there and other people are seeing who we are and what we are and guess what? They're starting to follow us and guess what? They're remembering us. Campbell River, food truck. We got involved through uh, Mr. Dave Rounds when he was doing his food truck drive over there in Campbell River. We got a lot of notice for that as well and we made a huge difference and we were proud to be a part of that. It also helped me get my foothold in becoming a an honorary member of Campbell River, so I thank you all for that. But your community of 31,000 people became a poster child for social good success. And that started with 140 characters, man. You guys did that. We on the outside, we just kind of helped a little bit. So when someone asks you, what's the ROI on getting involved in social media? Every time someone asks what's the ROI on that, a kitten dies and we're a step closer to the zombie apocalypse. And now it's time for the reward ceremony for the people in the Campbell River who get the social media. The awards for people who understand social media are Stephen Bungeon of Marine Harvest, Corey Laybourne of Minibus Tours, Olivia Strutt Jewelry, Paramount Music Hall, Kate Holmes, a mortgage, mortgage broker. Why I'm following her, I don't know because I'm not into real estate. But you know what, if I ever buy in Campbell River, I'm going to know where to go. Chris Patterson, Take Flight Design, Jonathan of Caravan Marketing, Shea Code, David McMillan, Sean Smith, and of course, Linda Allen Photography. Kudos to you. You understand social media, Twitter and Facebooking. Okay, folks, here comes the final things that I think that kind of sum it up and wrap it all up for this. Social Media 101 for your businesses. And this is the stuff you want to take note of, and this is the stuff that you want to start tweeting out. So get on Twitter, get on Facebook, because these things are quotable. Here we go. First, be comfortable being uncomfortable. Fight the gravitational pull of average and be above average on Twitter, because everybody else sucks. Be the authentic you. Who is the culture behind your brand? Don't just rely on your logo being up there. Personalize it. Maybe put a picture of yourself out there to go along with your business's name. Or just put a picture of the, the outside of your business there. But make it personal because that's what's going to keep people interacting with you. They want to know that they're being heard. Who you are is more important than what you do. And on a final note, never be afraid to fly your freak flag. And avoid normal when it comes to your business. Have purpose, have passion, have community. 
But most of all, remember that we're all in this human race together. It's our job to make sure we all cross the finish line as one. Make a difference. Get involved with your business online. Join community. Join charities. Let people see that you're out there, Campbell River. I know that you are. Thank you for making me a part of your community. Now go on, get out of here before I get all sentimental and wheezy and things like that. Take care, Campbell River. As always, it's a pleasure. Three, two, one. Tie out.